K-I-L-R Killer Games Welcome everyone to another fun video with yours truly, Killer Gamer and Nerd Gamer. Fun, fun, fun times two. And this, everyone, is Escalon book number one, part number two. And in this part, yeah, oh, we could get owned. Most likely. Uh, Nerd Gamer got owned. Yeah. But yeah, we'll get to that. All right, so in part one, we started with Nerd Gamer 2K story. And we see that she created her hero, which is a druidic rogue from the green forest to Therish. Her skills focused on short blades, finding hidden objects, hiding in shadows, moving silently, picking locks, and skullduggery. Which I totally forgot what skullduggery was. I think fighting hit him. Oh, wait, no, that's spot hidden. Digging I... skulls, maybe. I, I can't <laughs> remember what it was. Um, well, there was this uh, light after a stormy night and a flash of light. There was a scary face, as you can see there. Creepy. Uh, which is from a nightmare. And she awoke in a wrecked building. As you can see there, she found a note to find a guy named Maddock in a town called Aridel, which is northwest of here. Alright, so Nerd Gamer 2K, she explored an abandoned town called Elder Hollow that had been destroyed. She defended herself against lizard creatures, found items, and she even found gold. Yee. She even found a well of infinite healing water. It was amazing. That was kind of amazing. Well, in G2K, she explored the ruins and found locks that she had trouble trying to pick. Yeah. <laughs> well, no breaking her lock picks, as a matter of fact. All of them. She also explored an underground wine cellar. And I don't think there was anything in there, if I remember correctly. I don't remember anything. In Except important. for the torches that you took. Yeah. And once NG2K arrived in Aridale, she quickly learned that rummaging through someone else's belongings, especially a powerful priest, <laughs> can result in a quick and timely death. Yeah. Thankfully, she saved beforehand. Thankfully. All right. And then we get to KG's story, which is Killer Gamer. So Killer Gamer created his hero, a virtuous healer from the coast of Kessian. His skills specialize in elemental and divination, arcane magic. Being raised by a family of sailors, he had a gift for cartography and an interest in lore. He learned how to be a survivor with a bow and arrow when he was too weak to cast magic. Although, when he had time, meditation replenished his magical strength. So yeah, Killer Gamer also awoke from that same terrible nightmare and found a note with instructions to find Maddock and Aridel. He wasted no time going there. So he came across a fork in the road that led different directions, but he knew he needed to find Maddock to the northwest in Aridel. So once he found the town, he was offered a book on the history of Theomor, which is the country in which he was living in. And Killer Gamer found Maddock. He was given another letter, written by the same person from the first letter. The person explained that he knew about KG's memory loss and what his true identity was. He learned that there was an event that plagued the land around him. He had been placed into hiding and his memory wiped for his safety. KG was told not to ask too many questions about his past. If he wanted the truth, he would need to seek an amulet that belongs to him hidden in the coffin of Adler Kaidem, located at Eversleep Cemetery. Eversleep. Eversleep. All he needs to do is get a key from Lurik, who lives just north of Aridel. 
Afterwards, KG would need to visit Lilith in the heart of Tangle Tree Forest to learn the truth about the amulet. Tangle Tree. Tangle Tree. Trees that are all tangled in a big forest. So that's what happened in part one. And now we move forward to part two mm -hmm. in our two play double story of Escalon. Ooh. The star is back, and so are we. And so is the lizard. And the awesome music. Oh, I guess it's a basilisk. A basilisk lizard. Oh, like from Harry Potter, except it doesn't look like a lizard. And that's kind of like Hogwarts back there, but it's not really. Nope. It's playing tricks with us. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go to Restore a Save Adventure. Would it just be Continue? Nope, because we got two different ones. So you are... Risk. Yeah, you're at risk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait! This is right before that, remember? But I opened the chest, but the chest is open. No, but you didn't take anything. You opened it, but you didn't take anything. Say he's not attacking you. Ooh, thank goodness. Well, I think you can use the arrow key, so. I can. That's no, I can't. That's not the arrow keys. These are the arrow keys. Oh, well, I never use those. Oh. Those are uncomfortable. Cough. <laughs> it's dark and there's fireflies. You see an old sealed barrel. I don't know how you can see it. Yeah, it's so dark. Well, there we go. Um, the frail man. He picks up a broken table leg as if he intends to use it as a club. Oh no! Let's see. I'm very disturbed. Or <laughs> disturbed? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I don't know much about the comings and goings in this village because I pretty much keep to myself, but I'd be glad to chat with you a bit. I guess it's nice of you to even an uninvited one. Hmm. Where am I exactly? You don't know where you are? You're in the village of Aradel and the parish's region of Theomor. Theomor? Son, did you just fall off a boat? Yep. Yes, you're in Theomor. If you are really lost, this lost, then you need to find yourself a map. I'd give you mine if I had one. As he coughs. Um, let's see. What happened? You're not a from, from around here, huh? You're not a farmer. Yeah, that too. We're at war with or the Oracor, of course. Oracor? <sighs> yes, the Oracor. Those thieving creatures that live underground, they can't be trusted. If you ask me, our forefathers should have wiped them out long ago. <coughs> Maddox rubs the back of his neck with his dirty hand. Eh, yeah. he's just a tired old man, and I don't really follow this political nonsense anyway. Political? If you want to know more about it, you're going to have to ask someone else. Eleanor at the council house knows a lot about this subject. Mm. That's the lady you got that history book from. Do you only need to work around here? You're just going to have to ask around. Maddox says, as, a, as if annoyed by your question. Oh, jeez. But I'm telling you, there's not much in the way of jobs around here, especially for a stranger. Um, I must be going now. Go on, then. Boy, don't I need a... I don't know. Wait. Don't steal anything. Yeah, maybe you need to talk to him again. I just want to see what there is. If I open it, will he go chaotic? I don't know. Oh, phew. Birch? Quarterstaff. In other words, it's a... Uh, oh, it's a type of tree. Well, it's a wood. Yeah, it's a thing to beat you with, which is what he might do to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking, dude. Matic. 
Wow. There we go. Oh, why, yes, that's me. Hey, I believe I'm expecting you. Your name is NerdGamer 2 k isn't it? <laughs> I have something for you. <laughs> yes, I'm glad I found you. I was given a strange note and was told I needed to locate you. Oh. I hope you make confu uh, sense of this confusion. Well, I'm here. Uh, I got a letter and some gold, but go get it yourself. Mm. Oh, so that was for me. <laughs> That's for you, but... Had you taken it before, um... Who knows what would have happened. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. Goodbye. You are welcome. So it was in this one, right? My goodness. These are for me, right? Well, we'll find out. <coughs> okay, well, it looks okay. like you're good to go. Whoa, look at all this stuff I have. Potion of haste. Doesn't that make you fast or something? Something like that makes you quicker. Yeah. Jelly fungus. Disgusting. Okay. I never even opened the first one? No, I think you did. Oh, wait, yeah, I did. Okay. Hmm. Alright, you've made it safely Airedale and found Matic. I couldn't risk leaving this document. I'm not sure how long you'd be unconscious. Uh, but Maddox is a simple man. I'm sure you are wondering who I am. My identity will be revealed in time, but for now, you should just trust me. About yourself, you are part of something very big, and for your safety, you were put into hiding and your memory erased. Mwah. So the name you think you remember, NerdGamer 2 k was imprinted on your mind. I will not reveal your true name because of the danger it would bring. So you can continue living that if you want but it would be wise that you don't draw attention to yourself by asking too many questions about your past. Uh -huh. Your true identity can be revealed to you, but only if you are willing to accept the risk that accompanies it. you got to make that decision for yourself, because it's going to be a hard and dangerous journey. And so, if the truth is what you seek, you need to start by getting an amulet that belongs to you, before your memory was taken, I requested that, or you requested that I secure a special amulet for you, and I did so by slipping into a coffin of a dead aristocrat named Adler Kaidum. He is inferred, or entered, or something, in a vault at Eversleep Cemetery, which is in the North Parish region. I knew his casket would be a secure place to hide it, but now the problem is retrieving it. The door to the crypt is locked. Now you could smash the door down or pick the lock, but it might be easier just to get the key. Mm -hmm. The cemetery director, Lurik, lives a bit north of Aradell and he has the key. I'm confident that you could figure out a way to get it from him. Now once you get this amulet, you're going to want to find a woman named Lilith who lives in Tangle Tree Forest. Look for a house in the heart of the woods and she will tell you what she knows of the amulet and set you on the right path. So, this is your time to rebuild your strength, stamina, knowledge, and work on your skills. Smiley face. Or an E, or something. Ba-bomb! ba, -bom. ba, -bom. ba -bom. All right. Uh, your amulets. I'm not going to do that. Now, are you going to save at the moment, since you're past that part? I forgot how to save again. Uh, look for the floppy disk. Yay! Safe. Yep. Yeah. No, just click on that. And you can just delete it, and maybe quest two. I don't know. Or, or amulet quest. New, new life. life. Ah. Okay. Okay. Now the real question is: are you are you going to wait until it becomes daytime again? Well, it's starting to become. Oh wait, I can steal that guy's torch. Wait, wouldn't he get furious with me if I stole his torch? I don't know. <laughs> he may not be too happy about being put in the dark. Well, I did save. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> he's like in the way. <laughs> oh no, there's something in the way. You can't get it. Well, he's in the way. Object is obscured. Whatever that means. He's like, I know you come to take my light. So I put this vase in front of it. And myself. 
There's a barrel. No. Maybe I already took something from it. Ooh, I can go in there. The tavern is small and nearly empty. The owner sees you enter and quickly begins to wipe off the table. <laughs> Apparently trying to feel busy. In the corner, a man sits at a table drinking from a bottle of whiskey. I'll ignore you. I'm going to talk to you. You see a man who Whoa. reeks, reeks, and smells of old whiskey and looks as if he's not bathed in days. He is staring at the floor. He looks terrible. Hello? He looks up at you as if he's going to say something, then he just looks away. <gasps> Never mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's that guy. Hey, yo, welcome to Al's Roost Tavern. I'm Porter, the owner. Have a seat. What can I get for you? Hmm. Barkeep. Yeah, he he keeps the bar. Bartender, I guess you could say. Yeah, bartender, not barkeep. Barkeep is right. There are those two. What's with the soaking man? Oh, him. His name is Garrett. Poor guy came in here a month ago and hasn't left. He was a navigator on a ship that was attacked and sank south of Theomore. He was found unconscious on a beach on Salty Coast. As far as he can tell, he's the only one who made it off the ship alive. He's still in shock about it. He just sits here day and night drinking to forget, I guess. Wow, fascinating. Um. I don't want to rent a room. Ooh, what if I steal something from here? Hidden oh, in shadow. Hidden in shadow. No one can see me. I wonder. <laughs> Bottle of wine. Empty. Better not. No. Apparently it didn't see you because you were hidden in shadow. <laughs> Maybe it was someone else's thing. Owl's Roost Tavern. Oh, is that a well? Well, it is a well. Yes. Ah, that's Yum. water. Yummy. Mm, Grand Magic and so you are a rogue, so maybe you can sneak around and take things. Yeah, but it's all bright in here. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> talk to me. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> a slender, pale woman stands before you in the middle of a magic shop. The smell of herbs and sulfur and many other magical components components hang in the air. She, go, mm -hmm. <laughs> she sees you as you enter the shop. Oh no. <laughs> hey -o. Welcome to the Grand Magic Emporium. Mwah. I'm Abigail, proprietor of this shop of magics and magical supplies. Can I show you something for my current inventory? I must be leaving. <laughs> I wonder if I can... Ooh, I'm hidden in shadow. Oh, I can go through the back way. Stop kissing! Jeez. Well, I stole. Oh, I can steal that torch there too, and that one. Wait, maybe I can only steal the ones on the walls. I can steal that one too. Okay. I thought you were gonna go inside the. Oh, yeah, you are gonna go in the bar. I am. This is too funny. NG2K is just gonna take Aww. out the. You can't take that one. Might be able to take those though. No, they're on a thingy. Let's see. Ah. Uh. I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm a thief. I steal lights. <laughs> She's the light thief. Yes. Fear me. Fear what? me and my light. I my can't lamp. even go back there. What's in there? How do I get back there? Maybe I should put the light on. I think the only way to get you get back there is by going past her. I don't know. You may not be able to get back there. That just might be her thing. Well, there's something in there. You may have to be like a bad person and completely um, kill them in order to get in there. I can't even go back to the counter. 
I wonder who that is. Weird black. Oh, blacksmith. blacksmith. I have a sword. Weapons and stuff. Oh, he's got a treasure chest too. You see a tired looking man covered in soot standing in the middle of the blacksmith's shop. Hail! My name is Farwick. Why do they all say hail? I don't know. Well, that's what they say. Owner of this metalwork shop, can I show you something from my current Scott? 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 <laughs> yeah, current Scott. Um. Yeah. Whoa. How much money? 366. Is that how much money he has? Yeah, that's how much money he's got. What if I kill him? Um, that's assuming that you can. That's true. He's a blacksmith. Wait, I can get rid of stuff, can't I? Yeah, you can sell stuff. The uh, sell an item from your inventory, you got to left click on it to receive an offer. Oh. So, wait, first of all, I need to go away. I need to put this in here. Ah, oh, they're going to get rid of you, those uh, things you can't use. Which is practically everything. Oh, <gasps> it's the ring. Yes. Yes, I want to sell it. Well, you have to. You have oh, to left look. click. Left click. Six. Whatever. Thirty-five. Yeah. Twenty-five. Five. Well, that works. I uh, got. A give lot. you some money. No thing is, can you buy anything? Well, I'm gonna try to get a weapon. Sixty. Do you have any lock picks? Skinny knife. Um. Now you have short blades, right? Yeah, cause I'm a rogue. So I need daggers. Yeah. So the category there, what you're looking for, as I move my damage one, damage one, twenty-four, twenty-four. Oh, they're the same thing. What about this thing? Yeah, it's base damage is one. Oh wait, the value is low. Value thirty. So this one, what about this one? That's a sword though, you can't use that. It's gotta be It's a short, short sword. Yeah, but look at category. Sword? Yeah. Short. See, and then the oh. short blade, yeah, see. Whoa, look at all those arrows. That 320? Is a lot. For one? Wow. What the? That's pretty cool. Okay, so. Obviously, not gonna get that one. But is that the same weapon that I have? Iron dagger. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the same. So you probably got whatever you need. Maybe you can maybe get some armor, shoes, belt. I don't think I have, like, I don't think I can wear the armor and stuff. Well, I'll try a belt. Leather belt. Light armor. Why don't you look at your, why don't you, I, I would get out of here and look at your, uh, your character information. How do I do that? Oh. Is it that one? Nope, not that one. The one that's got your skills. Wait. Ah. Okay. No weapon. Or no armor. Huh. Mm. Too bad he didn't have any, um, thingies. Pick lock picks. Maybe you can just use anything for armor. But it won't be, it won't be effective, though. Because remember when I put the shoes on? Yeah, you don't have any skills on it yet, so I don't know if you have to use it for a while, or... Of course, you sold all that stuff that you had. Yeah, but it was worth it, because I got money. Um... Demon? Demon oil. Is that demon or an omen? No, that's demon. But you... That's, for, that's a category for thrown weapons, so you don't really have a skill on throwing weapons, I don't believe. But I could still throw it. Like how he says, I don't believe I've gotten any new inventory since your last visit, but please take a look. <laughs> hmm. 
Well, I want to put on the... 26? 10. 26? 10. Yeah, I'm going to wear a cloak because I just look cool wearing it. Is that all you're getting is the cloak? Yeah. Oh, you're already it's a, oh never mind. <laughs> See I look I look a whole lot cooler. Huh. It's kinda cool. I don't think you can take it. Locked. Better not attack me. So I just took another one of those thingies so I can easily sell it. Wait! I should stock up on daggers because what if I want to bang a door open or something? I don't know. Can you bang a door open with a dagger? I would think so. You can bang a door with a bow. Hmm. Wait. Iron dagger. Oh yeah, that's a sword. Hmm. Should I... Should I buy another one? I think you should probably stick with those and just see what you can do with it first. Okay. Ooh, it's daytime. I wonder if you can get in that boat. Maybe I need to know how to... Alright, so where are you going now? I want to try to... Oh, I know how I can get back there. I think. Why am I silent? And uh, now I'm not... Weird. I'm silent in the grass. Huh, Are you locked. kidding me? And it's a complex design, so I don't think you're going to be able to pick that anytime soon. I wasted all my locks on that stupid door. Well, you did work on your skill by doing that, so... I Maybe did? It's not yeah, every time you try, it's supposed to... Um, help your skill. I don't even know where to go now. Well, there's that quest. Yeah, but I don't want to find out who I am. Okay, well then just go anywhere. Anywhere? Yeah, the land is your oyster. It's an open world? It is a totally open world. Yay. How cool is that? That's what I'm saying, man. You can, like, totally make your own game. Or your own story. Your own game? Ooh, what's up here? Loading. Loading screen. North Parish. Ooh, I want to go in the snow. Let's go this way. <gasps> oh, yeah. Eh. Sweet. Wow, didn't take long. <sighs> Looks like a... Uh... A bridge? A plot? A garden or something? Something's up here. What's all this? Whoa, look at all these torches I can take. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stock up on those things. You never know when you need them. Too bad you can't throw those things at people. Oh, I know, right? Okay, I've noticed if you take things from barrels, it's okay. I need to find a thing to put my torch on or else it'll run out of light. Man, there's a whole bunch of these things in here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye! Let's go back over here. I sure hope they don't come up that... 
I don't staircase. think they can. Ooh, the lady is. Like, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I'll check in a moment. I'm gonna see what's in here. Never mind. Lady, get out of my way! Thank you. That's not a lady. <laughs> you see a my tall, goodness. thin man. <laughs> Almost immediately, you notice that she has a right eye that's missing. I don't know. Wait, he's going. No, I'm going place. the way I need to go. It's just a fleshy hole. The other's eye is sunken and dark. His skin is pale and sickly. Greetings to you. My name is Lurk. I am the director of Eversleep Cemetery. I assume you have come to inquire about funeral services for a loved one, or perhaps you wish to make arrangements for yourself. Aww. Lyric smiles at you politely, which you find creepier <laughs> if he had not smiled at all. Perhaps you could tell me about the cemetery. Don't tell me. Um, don't, I'm not gonna listen. Thanks blah, blah, for your blah, time. Blah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try to go back under there. There's a back door. Can you go out the back door? Yeah, but I want to see what's down there first. That could be. That's this is like the crypt. So that's probably where that um, thing is. Really? Wait. I thought there was two. There are. It look look what it says. Target heavily concealed by darkness. Oh my goodness! I want to um, get out of there. I have a healing potion. I didn't think you'd want to waste those. Look at how many I have. But you will heal over time, so don't forget that too. I'm just gonna drink one. Uh. Wow. Ooh, what if it's gonna make me all drowsy? I don't know. <laughs> That'd be funny. Just in case. I'm gonna see what's back here. Mm -hmm. Yay, money! Money, money, money. Money, 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 money. Oh, looks like there's just... Apparently grass is silent, but it's really not. Actually, walking in the grass is kind of silent, just doesn't sound silent. Yeah, Compared to walking on, like, rocks or something. True. There's a bridge! And blood! I see a barrel over there, too. I see two barrels. Are you kidding me? My goodness. This game kind of reminds me of the first Fallout game. Because it's along the same lines. It's a, you know, world like this one is. That's pretty cool. Mushroom! What the? <laughs> oh, that's what <laughs> Ugh, it sounds disgusting. Oh! Ouch. My... There's another one. Apparently you're not close enough. Oh, they were just throwing what? Oh my goodness! What the? Over. No! Idiot! <laughs> no, idiot! <laughs> I'm Remember, gonna this die. is time-based, so it's not real time. If you have to 
take it one step. Oh my goodness, they're still coming after you. I'm going to go into this person's house, and this person is going to help me. Whether oh, they like it or not. Look like you could just walk right through the water. Only in the light air. What? <laughs> Thank you for not attacking me. What? I don't think they're crossing the bridge. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it. I wonder if you have to, like, uh... I don't know. Level up or something. I don't know. But I'm not going up there. I'm going this way. Bubbles. Uh-oh. Is that thing right there? Yes! Uh -huh. But that's a huge thing of trees, so... Oh, it's coming around. Looks like candy. It's liquid candy. Tastes good. <laughs> Wait, I came from this way, didn't I? Yeah. Well, now I'm gonna go this way. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <sighs> I need a stronger weapon. bubbly thing is up there. That's why I'm going this way. My hand hurts. At least they can't hear me. Butterfly? No, I think that might be a bat. Grimhold, east entrance. Oh, it's been added to your quick travel menu. Those things are strong. Wait. I can quick travel, can't I? Maybe you can. Aerodel? Oh, enemies are near. <laughs> I can't do that. Go away, go away, go away. I'm sure there's a way to find out what their hit points are. Well, it's that way. Oh, I don't think you'll make it. Not if you only have 11 points left. No. Go nice. away. Too, too close. If he would stop following me. Oh no, he's going to keep going after you. I think Mr. Blubber is up there somewhere too. That's why I'm going this way. Careful, don't get hit into the tree. Ooh, pretty. Wait, isn't the well down here of yeah, it is. everlasting life? It's so dark. I think oh goodness, it is very dark. It stopped following me. Nope. No, that music is still going on. But I'm silent, so it doesn't know where I am. Yep, he's gone. I don't remember where that well is. I think you're going the right way. Up there? Yeah. So it's to the northeast? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Hidden in shadow, and I'm silent. Wah, wah, wah. It's like a lot of a lot of water to drink. Yeah. <laughs> Cause a big bucket is a lot of water. 
So is this where you're going to sleep for the night? I can't sleep. Or save is what I meant. <laughs> mm. I might go back to this town. I could sleep at the inn. That's true. Oh. Alright, well you're all back up again. Wow, wow, wow. How am I still silent? Well, it's dark. And, remember, I think you have a, you have a skill of walking in shadows and walking silently. I can't even find the door. Yeah, but that bat is right at that door. Oh, there he is. At least you'll get him this time. Yeah. That's kind of horrible. My goodness. Is he hitting him? No, he's you're in darkness. You can't see very well. Oh yeah. Oh, Whoa, twenty-five. Yeah, you did get him. So it's called a blood sipper. Nice. Lovely name. Yeah, if you're gonna be fighting, you might want to turn the light on. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Grimholtz, the Northwest, Aradel, you've been. Oh, yeah, now you can quick travel, remember? Yeah, but. Aradel's the, the town. So then let's go to Elder Hollow. No, that's where you just were at. Oh, well then let's go there. Sailed coast, southeast. Salted coast. Oh, it is salted, sorry. Which way is east? This way? Yeah. So this way. Right. Once I find a lighted place, then I'll sleep. And it's so dark. Yeah, I thought I heard something slithering. Well, it didn't take long for it to go dark. No, it did not. No, that was the one. Oh. Man, this thing's everywhere. Looks like a. I just went back where I came from. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna keep going this way. Down below, look. I went that way. Oh, I was gonna say there's a path that goes that way. Oh wait, and then I went that way. Yeah. It's following me. It's right there. I'm glad you can see that, because I can't. It's all dark. No, that's not where the path goes. No, but I'm looking. Ooh. This appears to be some sort of magical platform used in the casting of specific spells. It is overgrown and dirty as if it has not been used in a long while. Ooh, you need to remember what that is because you're a magic caster, aren't you? Yeah. Maybe you can use that. I wouldn't even begin to know how to use it. That looks like the town right there. I'm gonna kill him. Light. Ooh, there's something up there. Yeah, 
Here's a building. I think you may have found it. Or this is just that one place again. This is that one place. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're in Elder Hollow again. Man, you just went all the way around. My goodness. But I'm just gonna keep going this way then. Oh wait, Celtic Coast. Wouldn't that just take me to the water? Oh, yeah, I need to go I this way. I thought there was a uh, town or something. I never went this way. <gasps> Yay! Yeah, it's getting light again. Yeah, I can see it's southeast. And there's water. Ew, it's those gooey thingies. That's the wizard thing. Then I'll just go back to that one place. Anything in that direction? That's where I came from. Oh. I'm going this way. I never went this way. Nothing out here. Splash. That sounds like someone with a bucket of water. Just <laughs> the... He's throwing it to me. Uh oh. Ooh. I'm gonna try to kill. Oh, there's two of them! Fine, I'm gonna go to that chest. <laughs> Haste, what does that mean? Makes you faster, I guess. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna save. I don't know if I would save there. Well, I mean, you could save on another um, spot. Oh! <laughs> You've been owned. As you fall to the ground, you feel your spirit pull away from its fleshy prison. You feel at home, though. Wait, I just want to see where I. La that means that I just. That means that I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's time for Gil Killer Giller. Giller. Giller to continue his story. I'm over here in Killer Town. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that didn't work. It's gonna be nighttime. All right, so this is the Owl's Roost Tavern. Let's go ahead and go inside here and See if we can talk to this man. See if it makes a difference. Hello? Nope. He just looks Aww. at me. Maybe you have to be a pirate. Maybe. I don't know. Hello? Welcome! What can I get for ya? What have you got for sale? Well, let's see. He's got a. Are those lockpicks? Yep. Ah! That means that when it's my turn again, I'm going to go to him and buy those. Hmm. Apples. He's got apples. Not very much. Torches. <laughs> you can sell your torches Yay! Here. Well, it's only four, so you're probably not going to get much. What else we got here? I can buy torches. Why, why buy them when you can take them? Apparently, that's what you do. Yeah. Um, detox serums. I guess that takes care of poison? Healing elixir, mana potion, and some salted fish. And wine. And wine. And Wait, that's a map. Oh, it is. Map of Thalmor. 
Uh -huh. Guess what? Yes. This could be interesting. Uh, what's the news? Not much news makes it out this way anymore, Porter says, tossing the wash rag over his shoulder. Ew, that was kind of gross. In fact, I was kind of hoping maybe you had some news for us. You know, with you being from out of town and all. I seem to have lost my memory, so even if I had news to tell you, I would have forgotten it. Oh, uh, I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. Not. Why don't you hit not? Why don't you have a drink? Or stay for the night here in the Owl's Roost? I might. Also recommend that you talk to <coughs> Sorry. What, are you madic all of a sudden? Yes. I might also recommend that you talk to Father Michael over at the Bethel. Perhaps you are suffering from an injury that he can help you with. Let's see. How much is a room? Ask. Fifteen per night. Here go. Okay. Alright, so that's all there is. I don't know. So can we talk to him again? No, but you can steal a thing in the drawer that I did. Oh, look! What? There's more. Hello, the tavern owner told me what happened to you. Garrett looks up at you, his eyes glazed over and whiskey dripping off his chin. I know what you're going through. I awoke with no memory of my past or even who I am. I've lost everything as well. <laughs> if you're going to drink yourself to death, do it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll oh, do this man. one. Garrett looks at you for a moment, then speaks with a gritty voice. Yeah? Well, I'm sorry for your troubles, but that ship and crew are my life. I have nothing without them. Now I'm stranded here in this dang village with no way to return home. All I know how to do is navigate and chart maps. I have no other skill. And so there is no work for me here. That's all you really know how to do also. <laughs> to add to my sorrow, I lost my father's sextant and the shipwreck. It was an antique that his father gave to him and he, to me, it was a priceless family heirloom. If it's not at the bottom of the sea, then it is most certainly in the hands of the thieves that control the Salted Coast area. Oh, we know where that is. Interesting. Either way, it's lost forever. Garrett turns away and takes a long drink from his bottle. Apparently he's done talking to her. Hmm, let's decide to look for his sextant. All right, so how many quests we got here? We got two. Garrett the drunk staying at the Owl's Roost Tavern in Arendelle has lost an antique sextant. If you find it, you can sell it for profit. <laughs> Or perhaps Garrett would pay more than it's worth to have it back. It may be near the sale. I wonder if it's in that treasure chest. How much do you want to bet? Maybe near the Salta Coast where he washed ashore after the show. I don't remember what I took because I took it so fast, but I remember there were three items. So. One was gold. Yeah. And the other two were just something. Well, one was know. a sword, one was gold, and one was gold looking. It looked like a. Um, like a antique. Right. He's got nothing more to say currently. All right, let's go over here. Kill her! Oops. Your magic user killer. A slender, pale woman stands before you. It's Abigail. Abigail. Can I show you something from my inventory? Uh, sure. Let's see. We Whoa. have willow saps, rooks, acid, sulfur. That's stuff to make potions. Different types. Is that a sock on a necklace? <laughs> Cotton pick. Mana potions. Invisibility. Where'd you see that? Oh. The black one. A wizard's hat. You can wear that and look cool. Maybe I will. Do I have? I don't think I have a hat or anything. No. All right. What else? That scroll of bless. Oh my goodness, these are expensive. Scroll of cat's eyes. Well, I know know where to go when I want magic skills. Divination. These are all divination spells. I think cat eyes you can see in the dark. Scroll of lore. Here's the elemental ones. Flame, air shield, sonic blast, reveal map. 
scroll of dancing lights. <laughs> so it's worth 150, but they're asking 300. Interesting. Willow sap, sulfur, ivory amulet. Hmm. Oh, it adds hit points. I have to keep that in mind. Rabbit's foot adds dodge. They're asking too much for it. That's the sock thing that you thought it was. It's a no, I was foot. thinking of the one next to it. Oh, that? Yeah, it looks like oh. a sock. More mana potions. Ash. Ash. It's probably used to make something. A brass ring. Potion of predator sight. Hmm. Potion of haste. Mandrake. Cotton wick. Healing. Alright. Well. Oh, identify. Oh, so you can right-click on these and find out what they are. Uh, let's see. This incantation bows the caster, bestows upon the caster a divine blessing, increasing the caster's two hit and maximum damage. Last a hundred rounds. Cat size. Cat-like vision and low light. Oh, what a doll. Divine heal. You're bathed in divine light, which binds your physical wounds. That would be good. Does not cure disease or remove potioning. I need more money. Um, leather skin. Causes the skin of the caster to become thick and leathery. It increases caster's armor rating. That's pretty good. Lore. Use to identify unknown items. Effectiveness of the spells determined by casting level. I have that naturally. I think I do too. Flame creates a magical torch that floats above the caster's head, <laughs> turning the tar darkness around them. Duration of the spells based on the casting level. Air shield creates a bubble of dense, high-pressure air around the caster, shielding from most projectiles. That might help against those liquidy bubble creatures things. Wait, what was it? A bubble dense? High-pressure air. Bubble yeah. dense. Thick. Think of a thick bubble of high-pressure air. Air shield works only when the source of the projectile is greater than one space away. It does not prevent damage. Ah, okay. Um, sonic blast creates an intense subsonic wave which temporarily stuns all nearby targets, lowering their combative and defensive abilities. This spell grants the caster three points of cartography skill per casting level. And the duration of the spell is 10 rounds. Interesting. Wait, you have a bow and arrow, don't you? Nope, but I know where to get one. Oh. Causes some enemies to flee. Dancing lights. And, and oh, yeah. Right of the magical display of lights. You Larger, have the power for it. And more intelligent creatures. To, okay. Interesting. Let's see. Lesser disease. The serum cause, cures common diseases as dungeon fever, rusty knuckles, and eye fungus. Ew, eye fungus? Yeah. Invisibility causes the trinket to become completely invisible. That might be useful with some of those monsters. Like the squishy thingies? Yeah, like the squishy thingies. Wow, cat-like eyesight lasts 200 rounds. Or does that mean 200 steps? So, 200. Uh, well, think of it, play rounds, so it's all turn-based. So each time you take a turn, it's a round. Healing, that does 40 hit points. I say get invisibility. Sulfur doesn't do anything. Get invisibility. Well, I'm not going to get it just yet. Yeah, you should. Spell and potion descriptions. Okay, right clicking. I just did that. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm not from around here. Can you tell me anything about this area? Abigail sighs as she shakes her head, seeming almost frustrated by your question. <laughs> There's not much to tell you, really. The conflict of with the Oracur has left this region in a state of chaos. Our little village of Airedale is really the last settlement still standing in eastern Theramore. The other settlements are gone, and most people have fled north or west before Grimhold fell. Oh, you're at Grimhold. Out here, so far from the capital, well, there's a place called the Capitol, apparently. Ooh. We know very little about what's really going on. Hmm. Tell me about Grimhold. Grimhold is an old fortress which lies just a short walk west of here. 
It once served as a gateway between this area and western Theomore, cutting a swath through the thickest part of the Tangle Tree Forest. Hey, guess that's up there. It also bridges the eastern gap, a huge rift cut into the ground that lies in the center of the forest. After the conflict began, the Commonwealth Guards who held Grimhold were called to service by the Chancellor. Soon after their departure, goblins overran and took control of the fortress. Are those the liquid puddle things? I think so. It fell just like the Elder Hollow southwest of here. Goblins, yes, vile creatures, those goblins. In the past, they posed little threat to us humans, but with our resources spread thin and our attention focused on the conflict with the Oracur, they've taken advantage of the situation and now run amok. In my opinion, their taking of Grimhold is just the start. Aww. If the Chancellor doesn't change his war plan, they are going to become a bigger threat than Oracor. Abigail pauses and takes a deep breath, unaware that she has upset herself. Grimhold is now unsafe and probably not even passable. You, if you absolutely must travel west, you should take the northern pass. Unfortunately, this is a much longer journey and probably just as dangerous, but I guess it's safer than trying to go around Tangle Tree Forest to the south. The southern route is plagued with bandits. And who are the Oracor? No one really knows. I think we had that question answered in one of the other ones. Will they live in perpetual darkness? Practically everything I've heard about them. Blah, 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 blah. blah okay, blah. yeah, so we, uh, we heard that from that one lady. That one lady. Yeah, Eleanor, that one that gave us the book. I'm looking for work. Do you have anything for me? Nope. Abigail scratches her head for a moment. No, I don't need any help around the store. However, I am looking for a special book called Secrets of Transference Circuits. I would certainly pay you full value for that book if you ever found the copy and returned it to me. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have time to find books for you. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll keep my eyes out for it. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Alright, well. We now have three quests. Alright. I got enough to keep me busy, it looks like. Alright. There you can buy your bow and arrows. Yeah, I know. That's why I mean. You get close to him, he goes right over to that uh, chest of his. It's like, don't you dare take anything. Oh, you see a tired looking man. Ooh, short of gold. Interesting. Yes, I like to see what you have. Well, let's let's do this. Uh, no, buy it first. Me? Buy the stuff first. Nah, 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 you nah. might not be able to buy anything because you're his worker. I've done those games before, where you work for them and then they won't let you buy anything. All right. It All might right. not be a it. Bow is a hundred. You should buy a lot of arrows. <laughs> Three hundred and twenty. I think that'll be enough. <laughs> All right, so or <coughs> he has three hundred and twenty, and you get one arrow for a dollar. Oh, you know what? I bet you that's right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. All right, so buy two hundred. Now let's let's get a hundred. No, that's too let's let's get fifty. Fifty, I might do fifty. Fifty. How about sixty-five? No, let's do fifty. Okay. <laughs> Alright, and I think there's a hat over here too. Leather bracers. Oh man, all this stuff is expensive. Cracked shield. I don't, I don't know if I can use that. Traveler shirt. Let's see. Looking for work, eh? Sure, I have something for you. I used to own a house down in Elder Hollow before the village was attacked and we were forced to leave. Beneath my house I had a wine cellar. Ooh, we found that. Where I kept some of the precious metals I used my smithing work. When I fled the village I took with me all I could but I left behind a single bar of mithril that was hidden deep inside the cellar. It's for me to try to recover the mithril myself. And it's too valuable just to leave it down there for thieves to eventually take. <laughs> I took it. <laughs> if you could recover this bar of mithril for me, I'd pay you a reward worth the face value of the raw metal. Before you agree, let me warn you, this was no ordinary wine cellar. I filled it with traps designed to keep thieves away. 
And by now, I'm sure there are things more dangerous than traps down there. There weren't nope. any traps. <laughs> so what do you say? Not when I went. Sounds like a good time. <laughs> but how? No way, I'm not going to risk my ch life for a chunk of metal. <laughs> Excellent. I look forward to your return with the mithril. Goodbye. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Oh, you already own this traveler's shirt. Where's my inventory? There it is. Okay, so once you want to get rid of that dagger. Although you can put it as alternative weapon. Unskilled You need a shield. I don't know. Do you need to put the arrows? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, I don't think I can take a shield. That's red. That's red out. Oh, because you have a bow and arrow. That yeah. makes sense. And I do have a childhood shirt. Yeah, that's what I said. Ooh, I wonder what you look like with your wizard hat. Oh, we'll see. Right click to use. It's right there. Ah, Where this would be. You? Good point. Can't even. We don't even have a cursor. All right, so there's Elder Hollow right over there. South Parish. We're oh, in Grimhold, is, right? This is a big land. Look at this. So, Aradel, there we are. Right on that little uh, thingy. Island thing. And Grimhold, right next to it, there's a rift. This is the Great Shingle Tree Forest. That's a huge forest. So, apparently, that one lady we're supposed to see is somewhere in that forest. That Lake Ar. 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 Lake Atria? Because it has a heart. I don't know. There's a whistling cave, tangle tree, Os Osuri, the salt tit coast. So that's pretty big. So there's something down there. Ash Island. I wonder how we get to that. With there's the boat? a lighthouse down there. Goblin lands. A citadel. Those places are probably places. really strong. Man, this reminds me of the old days of EverQuest. Uh, Blackwater, Baron's Thicket, the bottomless lake. I don't think I want to fall uh -uh. there. Boston Spire. Wow. Kind of cool. Let's look at these notes. Oh, wait, we read the note. Let's look at the history of Thaomor. This hefty tome recounts the early years of Theramore's history in exhausting detail. Thankfully, the first chapter is an abridged timeline of events covered within the book. Mm -hmm. Alright, so chapter 1 is an abridgment of historical events concerning Theramore. Alright, so year 390, Dwarven explorer Koru Keyhammer reaches the eastern lands known as Theramore and reports vast natural resources Ooh. and deposits of gold, ore, and gemstones. In 405, the first permanent settlement called Lone Loft is established in the mountains of western Theramore. Its founders are primary miners and surveyors. Four years later, Lone Loft settles. Settlers report they have encountered a peaceful race of subterranean people known as the or Oroker. Oh, we heard about them. They are described as dwarvish in build, but more adapted for permanent life underground with large eyes and little hair. 419, skirmishes arise over control of the mines. The Oracle claim the settlers are stealing minerals from what they refer to as the Great Underground. By year 423, these small skirmishes escalate into war called the Plague Wars. Dwarven settlers sign an accord absolving themselves from warring with the Okror, but because of a perceived kinship. Because of this accord, the Dwarven people abandon their claims and leave their war. Theramore forever becomes predominantly occupied by the race of men. Huh, interesting. 425, while mining for copper, a seller named Sam, a Thorbor, discovers a massive gemstone that would become known as the Crux of Ages. We heard about that somewhere. We did. Because of the ongoing conflict with the Oracle, the rough stone is hidden away in Bastion Spire, a stronghold which would later become the capital of Theramore. Oh, we saw the Bastion Spire on, on the um, on the map. Yeah, it was way up there. Let's see, 433, the first governing body of Theramore is formed. It was decreed that a lifetime chancellor would be elected to represent the will of the people. 
He's given the highest authority and has a council of 12 advisors, known as the Grand Scholars. 435, Chancellor Mar is elected as the first governor of Theomor. Under his leadership, Theomor establishes the Commonwealth Guard, which becomes the turning point in the War of the Araker. The, or, I guess, Araker are suppressed and driven deep on the ground. Chancellor Mar declares victory. The Araker disappear completely, and many assume the whole populace must have succumbed to disease or starvation. Dwarven lords from outside Theomor condemn Chancellor Mar for his unethical warfare tactics. Relations between the race of dwarves and men are fractured. 471, Chancellor Mar dies after 36 years of distinguished service. Then Chancellor Mar II, II, later known as the Great One, superseded his father as Chancellor. This officially begins the Golden Age of Expansion and Prosperity. 509, Chancellor Taurus supersedes Mar II. 537, Katira I supersedes Taurus I. There is an entry here that has been blackened out by ink. Uh-oh. Huh. I wonder what's going on there. Yeah. Something between 537 and 590. Hmm. 590, Goblin Skirmishes arise in Krakamir. The Chancellor, unwilling to squander resources defending a wasteland, concedes Krakamir to the goblins. Elsewhere in Theramore, the Commonwealth Guard is successful in eliminating the goblin threat. 627, a devastating earthquake shakes the eastern province, tearing great rifts into the land. We saw that on the map. The Oraker, long believed to have been decimated, reappear from the Great Fissures. Surveyors who spot them claim they appeared skittish and not hostile. Elusive and rarely seen above ground, the reappearance of the Raker is not considered a threat, and they are all but forgotten. The timeline ends here, although it looks like the following page may have been ripped from the book. Interesting. So the Bastion Spire up here where the bottomless lake is at, that's the capital. That's a long ways up there. And there's the rift. Eastern Rift. That was the earthquake. Here's another one. Well, yeah, it looks Blackwater. like an earthquake. Interesting. It gets interesting. There's a lot going on. Alternate weapon. Ooh! Yes, I got... Okay, I got my alternate weapon in there somewhere. Yeah, and you can switch them. Very, very cool. Alright. S was for skills, right? Alright, so we got divination, elementary cartography, bow weapons. I don't really have anything else, but. Alright. Well, you look cool with the hat. <laughs> I wish we could zoom in. Oh, look at that bow. That thing is huge. That is cool. Alright, let's save here. Save. Not new life. We'll do Killer Town. Alright. Well, we know where the crypt is at. It's up north, so... I thought he was going to attack me. I know, right? I didn't do nothing. I just bought a bow. <laughs> and a hat. Well, so far we know that this town is the only safe place. So far. Well, and that cemetery. I don't know if that's really safe, but... So let's go down to Elder Hollow. Okay, no. no, you need to go down there to get that no, one guy's a... thingy. I know. Ooh. Right, well, we need to cast. How do we cast? Flesh boil. down an ember key when clicking OK to quick set and ready spell for faster retrieval. Right kick, click to cast. I have to press one. Oh. Bye bye. <laughs> well that was simple enough. <laughs> Too bad you can't like pick stuff up from the 
corpses or something. Yeah. Maybe you can later. Maybe. Or you have to have a certain skill. Alright, so that... We in... Okay, so it's not upstairs. It's Although, downstairs. there is a treasure chest over there. Ready to spell, okay. Now use your dagger. Switch. No, click the sword with the thingies. Yeah, you have to click the sword. No, right? no, no, no. You have to click that because it switches your weapons. Ah, okay, gotcha. The other one's coming. Hard leather, heavy banded armor. Oh, that looks like that is worth something. Cotton wick and some gold. Not very much. Oh, there's the thingy. that little lizard guy. Oh I'm gonna take care of him too. Uh. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. Oh, my man is about ready to go out. Aww. He's currently out of attack range. All right, fine. Let's do this then. up there. I wish I could find a well for mana. That would be awesome. Maybe, Maybe there is one. one. Oh, chest! Let me see the chest. Alright, they're not going to be able to go through there, so let's... Alright. Smell of dampy, musty earth fills our nostrils. You descend the stairs into the chilly cellar. Underneath the abandoned house. That belongs to that one guy. Alright, let's see what's in here. Gold. Oh wait, you can only get it by picking the lock, remember? Because oh. I found a chest and I tried to pick the lock and I never could. You can bash the door with your dagger. Take the light. Yeah. Oh, it's in the way. No, it's not. You weren't clicking right. You have to click on the... Yeah. Was it? Down there. Broken wine racks and bottles lying everywhere. Right Alright. I don't see it. Wait, there was a wall. Wait, I think I saw something. Go up. Up to right there. There's something on the ground. It might trigger something. No, step on the square. What square? Told you. Ooh, stepping on a pressure plate. The section of the wall. 
Well, now I know how to get through there because I just figured it out the second time. Go, get it. There's a chest. Oh, you're right. There's one. Those bats are hard to beat. The key. Hmm. I was thinking that we should save before we yeah, do save. something. Yeah, save right now. Say risk killer seller with key. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whoa. You can use your magic, it's a lot stronger. I'll try. Well, if you go upstairs, it won't. Okay, now do it. Whoa, why do you keep walking? Well, I was gonna go upstairs anyway. Yeah, now go back down. Cause I can well, go, go to the well. Yeah, I can go heal. I'm silent. Look at that. Wow. Ah, very refreshing. Well, should I try to go back down there? Yes. Alright. Yeah. Oh my goodness, he's still right there. Use your bow and arrow. They're all dead. Well, we know a gate opened somewhere. We went in there. We went in there. There's nothing there. Big. The door is open. 
Yeah, I see that. I'm just looking down here to see if there's any... It looks like there's a person in here. You see a cold, still corpse. Go close to it. You can steal stuff. Bread. Bread. <laughs> steal the torch. Further, further into this. Goodness gracious. Door number one or door number two? Let's go to this door. Careful. Oh, I think those are traps up there. Yeah, he did say something about You can traps. open it. Just careful when you walk through. Those things, see. There's nothing. Trap. Killer traps. Kind of like. Some that might be a trap right yeah, there. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I didn't see it. My goodness. Well, how did you pass it? I hear it. It's because you stepped on the thing. Oh, oh, I see it. Okay. Oh my goodness, that took a good amount of my points. And... There's another lever down here. It's called a lever. Lever, yeah. Bottle Not of Not a lever. <laughs> Go left. Kinda have to anyways. There's light. This place is... I can't wait to go back under there. Another key. Serum. Another torch. That might be helpful. Anything else around here? No. What is that used for? Nothing. <laughs> I'm slowly healing up at least. Huh. Well, apparently we're, uh... Man, we can't... There's something over here. Yeah, but you went through door number one, so go through door number two now. Careful of those traps. There he is. Oh, and there's a... Lever. Lever. You can say lever, too. Don't go on there. Good. in here. It kept fizzing. All right, 
well. I, th I think I'm gonna go back up, go to the healing well, and uh, go into darkness, apparently. Uh, let's go back in here. Well, you never found the thing. Oh, yeah, because you didn't get past them. Well, those little lizard creatures were kind of tough, apparently. They weren't like some of the other ones. It's just because there was three of them. I thought there was only two. There was three. It's daylight again. <sighs> and I thought that was going to be easy. Hmm. <clears throat> That guy said it was going to be difficult. Yeah, he did. Well, I think this is a good good spot to... Um, say hello. Say hello and say goodnight. Um... And this is a long video. So yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll close it here. And I guess next time, I don't know if I'll go back in there or if I'll go um, go over in this area over here a little bit. See if I can't gain up my skills anymore. What this, this doesn't really tell us how we are. Percentages, but it doesn't say where we're at in the... We're still level one. <laughs> yeah, you have to get a thousand experience. Oh yeah. Do that. So we only got 506. So maybe that's what we need to do is just keep getting experience until we get the level two. Maybe things will get a little easier. Maybe. Oh, and there's the camp thing. Alright, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we'll save that. I'll put it back on the killer cellar with the key because I have the key. But then how are you supposed to remember? The date. Take a look. This is later. But not by much. And I could probably... I could probably delete that, I'm thinking. But Yeah. So, I guess that'll be it for now. We appreciate you watching, although this is a pretty long video. So, uh, next time in part three, both uh, Gamer 2 k and myself will continue our stories, and we'll see where that goes. So be sure to click like and subscribe so that way you know when the next part comes out. And hey, we're on Facebook and Google+, so be sure you join us there too. Alright, thank you.